Today, I'm gonna to show you how to pair, unpair, and erase your Apple Watch with your iPhone. It's time to strap in because we're gonna have a lot of pairing fun. But first, take a moment and subscribe to our channel. You'll get weekly tasty how-to videos. So let's say that you got yourself a new Apple Watch or perhaps you have an old one and you're gonna sell it and get a new one. Whatever the reason, I'm gonna walk you through how to connect it, unconnect it, erase it, and even handle that cellular plan. So the first thing we wanna do is charge up our Apple Watch and iPhone. To quote the band Snap exclamation point, I've got the power, or the phone and Apple Watch got the power. Next, if you got yourself a fancy pants band for your Apple Watch, let's install it. Flip your Apple Watch upside down and push and hold on the little band button. Now slide the old band out and now push the new band in until you feel the click. Repeat on the other side. Clearly, I need to get myself a fancy pants watch band. I mean, gray. Next, put your Apple Watch on your wrist and find a comfortable fit. Ooh, that feels pretty loose. Oh, that's too tight. Ah, Goldilocks, just right. Next, turn your Apple Watch on by pushing and holding down the side button until you see the Apple logo appear. On your iPhone, a pairing screen should pop up. Tap continue. If you don't see the screen, open the Apple Watch app on your iPhone and tap start pairing. When prompted, position your iPhone so that the Apple Watch shows up in the camera's viewfinder. And just like the Large Hadron Collider beneath France and Switzerland, it's all about those particles. After a moment, the two devices will be paired. Now tap Set Up Apple Watch, then follow the instructions on your iPhone and Apple Watch to finish it up. Pro tip! Once you've paired your phone and Apple Watch, you can now activate the cellular data plan. If you don't want to activate it, you can always do it later using the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. Pro, pro tip. You have to use the same cellular carrier for both your iPhone and Apple Watch. Just like beer and liquor, mixing is a crime. Verizon before Sprint, never been more bent over a toilet vomiting. I, I don't have a rhyme for this. Now let's walk through how to unpair your Apple Watch. You're gonna to go to your iPhone and open the Apple Watch app. At the bottom, you're gonna tap on the My Watch tab. At the top, you're gonna to tap on your Apple Watch, and then you're gonna select the Apple Watch you want to unpair by tapping on the information button, and unpair Apple Watch. Finally, you'll verify it by tapping unpair, and in this case, Patrick's Apple Watch. And then you enter your Apple ID password. Unpair. Now it's time to get all men in black and erase our Apple Watch. To erase your Apple Watch, you're gonna go into Settings, General, Reset, then tap Erase All Content and Settings. Finally, you'll be asked to enter your passcode. Men in black. You're gonna put like a cool effect, right? Otherwise, I look like an idiot in a funny shirt. <laughs> What? You can also erase your watch using the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. Tap My Watch, go to General, then Reset, and tap Erase Apple Watch Content and Settings. At the bottom, you'll tap Erase All Content and Settings, and you'll tap it a second time. Then enter your Apple Watch passcode. Pro tip! <laughs> to erase your cellular plan, open the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. Tap My Watch, then cellular. Tap the info circle next to your cellular plan. Finally tap remove Verizon plan or whatever the name of your carrier plan is. And if this doesn't work, which I'm not sure why because it involves a major phone carrier, then you might have to contact said carrier to have them remove your Apple Watch from your cellular plan. Pro tip. So that's all I got. If you like our video, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, keep your damn mouth shut or Look at my Men in Black pen.